wine lovers, welcome back to Wine on a Dime. I hope you're having a good day. We're gonna drink some wine. Alright, let's drink some wine. Today we're reviewing a box wine. I like reviewing box wines. It's fun. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. Yes. So, without further ado, today we're reviewing a black box wine. It's one of America's favorite boxed wines. I'm doing the baby one because the big one's a little bit more expensive, but, you know. Yes. <laughs> I bought this little baby one that's like three glasses for $3.49. On sale at Safeway, usually those are around four to six dollars, and then you can also get a three liter version of black box wines, and those are usually around ten to fifteen, depending on where you buy them. So, yes, today we're reviewing the Cabernet Sauvignon. It is from Chile, it is a 2016 version. This is 13% alcohol by volume and it is a 77% cab blend. There's some other stuff in there like Syrah and stuff. So flat box. Throw this at people. This is good for tailgating. You don't want to drink beer. You want to be classy at a tailgate. <laughs> Bring your Max box wine. 349. Three glasses of wine. Okay, let's pop this open. Mm. So easy. Hmm. Can't really get, can't get this side out there. But we're gonna we're gonna pour it a glass anyway. There's like a cat hair in there. Story of my life. There's a cat hair in this. An autobiography by me. Ooh, this has a nice color. It's kind of a bright cherry color. No, I usually expect cabs to be a little bit dark in that, but fun surprise. All right, let's, let's take a whiff here, huh? It smells oaky. It kind of like currants. Currants. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting, it kind of smells like old cereal in the box. <laughs> like old, like, uh, fruity pebbles. <laughs> I'm trying both. I'm trying, like, out of a glass, and then I'm going to try it out of the box, too. Let's drink it out of the box first, because that's what I came in. This is, like, on the go. Like, it's, your you put your lips on this, and you're ready to go, right? That's how you do it. Oh. That's interesting. It's kind of like a chocolate cherry cola. This kind of tastes like a Pinot. I reviewed a Pinot before this, and they taste pretty similar. Weird. <laughs> Usually caps don't taste like Pinot. It has like a Similar texture to it. I wonder if that's some of the other wines that are mixed in there with it. All right, let's. Do... It's definitely not as uh, intense out of the glass as it is the bottle. It kind of tastes a little watered down on the glass. I usually don't say this, but I kind of like it better out of the box. Hmm. Interesting. Mmm. This is like the cheapest Chilean cab I've ever had. It's not too bad. It has a really nice balance to it. There's kind of a chocolatey, like, cover cherry taste to it. And there's like a hint of vanilla too. Chocolate and vanilla. It's like chocolate vanilla swirl with the cherry on top. Is kind of, and maybe some cherry sauce because the cherry is pretty predominant. Interesting. Hmm. 
It's weird because out of the glass it tastes more one note. But in, in, the, in the box, it's like intense and delicious. <laughs> it's so weird. three dollars for three glasses of cab this is actually pretty good now if you're gonna get the three like <laughs> there's like no in between three liters <laughs> or the three glasses um, so it's interesting we kind of hit like the bottom rung and I mean if you wanted a whole box of this I drink a whole box of this it's pretty good it would be good for like a summer barbecue just hanging out, watching The Bachelor, The Bachelor's on. This would be good. This is actually for a Chilean cab. Like, I've had better Chilean cabs at a higher price point, but for paying $3 for this, this is like a good treat. I take this to the beach or like, I don't know, if you're having like a BYU OB barbecue or you're tailgating, your summer cookout. You could just like buy a bunch of these little ones and put them out on your table. That'd be so cute for like a pool party. You could take this in the pool. Well, maybe not like a public pool, but like you put a private pool to float around. I'm impressed. What would I rate this wine? Now that I'm like getting over the fact that I think it kind of, it doesn't taste like the Pinot. It just has like the same like finish as a pinot and that's what's what's throwing me off. It has kind of a velvety finish, but only when it's out of the box. So that might just be the foil on the inside. The chemical reaction on my tongue. I don't know. I don't know. Um This is a pretty good box one. I would totally buy the huge version of it because it's really good. This would be like a good thing to just like have in your fridge and um go to town on. This is, this is pretty good. I'm going to give this a 4.8 out of 5. Um, I wish it tastes better out of a glass, which I guess if you bought like the real one, it would come out. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the special box flavor. I'd take this to a party. <laughs> out of the glass, it was still pretty good. I would say 4.8 in the box. Maybe like a 4.4 .4 in the glass. <laughs> It tastes like a little, like it wasn't as intense and bold in the glass. And I just, it kind of hit, felt, it was disappointing out of just drinking it straight from the box. Would I pay full price for this? Would I pay $5 for this? Yeah, if I was going to a party, I would totally like buy three of these and <laughs> give them to my friends. We have a cab party. So classy. Thanks for tuning in to my review of Black Box Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon 2016. If you like this content, I would love a subscription from you or a like or something. If you hate it, go ahead and comment below. It'll be great. Have a good day, man, woman, child, whatever you are. Hopefully children are watching this because you're not legal drinking age. Unless you're in Europe, then you do you, right? It's weird that it tastes better in the box.